Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, we'll go to page 250, 250 in your hymn book this morning. 250. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We'll sing this so sweet to trust in Jesus. Amen. But before we sing, we'll invite the presence of the Lord. Amen. The Bible says in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. Amen. There is fullness of joy. So let us bow for prayer. Let us thank him this morning for everything. Father God, as we come before you, Lord, today, our heavenly Father and gracious God, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Father God, there is none like unto you. You are Jehovah God. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Father, we thank you for providing oxygen that we can breathe this morning. Father God, your people may not have the best comparing to society, but once they have Jesus, they have everything. Because you are above and over everything. You are the creator this morning, O oh God. Father God, uh, many people are on ventilation machine this morning, taking oxygen. And Father God, thank God that we don't have to take purchase oxygen, oh God, this morning. And some may be dependent on that, God. I pray that you'll have mercy on them and heal them. Father God, but we thank you, oh God. If we had to purchase oxygen like we purchase water or something in the grocery store, Oh, we would have been in shamble, Lord. But God, you have provided so greatly for us, and we give you glory this morning. We thank you for waking us up this morning and bring us to Mercy Baptist Church. Father God, I ask, oh God, this morning. Father God, that you are blessed each and every one. We thank you for the visitors this morning. We thank you for Brother Milton, oh God, who being so faithful that he bring his friend, oh God. This morning, his friend. Father God, you, you have a reason and purpose, O oh God, for his life as well. Because you bring him from all the way to Bonasica, O oh God, to here this morning, O oh God, to relocate in this place. Because you have a reason for him, and you have a reason for each and every one. I pray for Brother Abraham this morning and his to take, O oh God. Oh, that is a serious thing. Father God, I pray but you will bring healing. Touch him, O oh God. That the pain will go away. We ask, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And God, we ask that you will bless this service once again. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, praise the Lord. We will sing page 250. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Amen. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise, just to know the said the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I prove him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Page 250. 250 in the hymn book. Amen. Oh, how sweet to trust in Jesus, just to trust his cleansing blood, just in simply fit to plunge me, need the healing, cleansing flood. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I prove him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Yes, the sweet to trust in Jesus, just to and self to cease. Just some Jesus simply taking life and rest and joy and peace. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I prove him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, 
Oh, for grace to trust him more. Last answer. I'm so glad I learned to trust the precious Jesus, Savior, friend. And I know that thou art with me, will be with me to the end. And Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I prove him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him more. Amen. You can take a seat this morning. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Let us turn to page 375. Draw me nearer. Draw me nearer. In these days and time, our desires is for the Lord to draw us near to Him. Amen? Amen. 375. Let me tell you, no matter what is going on in the world, once you are near to God, God is going to see you through. Amen? I'm telling you that because I know that personally. Amen? I was homeless when I turned to Jesus Christ 24 years ago because my daddy put me out and said, we are Hindu, we don't want a Christian in his home. And listen, I'm still, you can see my size, God is still taking care of me, amen? Amen. amen? amen, so God is a good God, stay close to him, amen? amen? So draw me nearer, praise the Lord, 375, amen? I am thine, O Lord, I have heard thy voice, and it told thy love to me. But I long to rise in the arms of faith, and be closer drawn to thee. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessing, Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessing, Lord, to thy precious blade inside. Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope, and my will be lost in thine. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessing, Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Oh, draw me nearer, nearer, blessing, Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. Oh, the pure delight of a single hour that before thy throne I spend. When I kneel in prayer and with thee, my God, I commune as friend with friend. Oh, draw me nearer, nearer, blessing, Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Oh, draw me nearer, nearer, blessing, Lord, to thy precious blood and sign. They are depths of love that I cannot know till I cross the narrow sea. They are heights of joy that I may not reach Till I rest in peace with thee. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessing, Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessing, Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. Somebody say amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We ought to ask Him to draw us. Amen. amen. Near. Near to Him. Amen. amen. 
we'll sing two Sunday school songs. So the children will uh, think that, uh, like we did last week, let us stand children, just the children, just a little children. We'll sing Sunday school, Sunday school. I love Sunday school. Amen. We're going to clap and sing. Come on. Bobby to stand. Come on. Help me this morning. All right. Sunday school, Sunday school. I love Sunday school. I love my superintender. I love my teacher too. Oh, when I grow a big, big boy, a teacher I will be. To teach the little children what my teacher taught me. All right. This is what we are going to do. When we read that part, when we say, when I grow a big, big boy, the boys will say, I grow a big, big boy, and the girls will say, when I grow a big, big girl, okay? All right, girl? Good. Y'all clap your hand when you sing. Come on. Put on your Bible. Put on your Bible. Good. Clap your hands. Amen. Good to see you today, brother. Amen. Sunday school, Sunday school, I love Sunday school. I love my superintender, I love my teacher too. Oh, when I grow a big, big boy, a teacher I will be. To teach the little children what my teacher taught me. Amen. All right, we're going to sing the B-I-B-L-E. Is that's the book for me, okay? The B-I-B-L-E. Is that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Bible. One more time. The B-I-B-L-E, it's that the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, Bible. Amen. Uh, we Y'all want me to do one more? Which one? Which one? Let me hear. Little children, which one you want us to sing? Hmm? Huh? This little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may take a seat. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise the Lord. Brother Johnny, so good to see you this morning, brother. I, I would be... It will be so nice if you can lead us with a song. You have one in mind? This morning? No? All right. Uh, what about if you come up and help me sing one? Amen? Come up with me. We're going to sing 310, The Lily of the Valley. Page 310. Amen. Let us turn to page 310 all. This will be our final song and then we'll go into the message. Amen. Come brother, I'm gonna help you. Huh? You go? You go? You, you sing it? I'll go. All right, let us sing page 310. I have found a friend in Jesus is everything to me. Is the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. The lily of the valley, in him alone I see. All I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. And sorrow he's my comfort, and trouble he's my stay. He tells me every care on him to roll. Hallelujah, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. He all my grievous taken and all my sorrows born. In temptation he's my strong and mighty tower. I have all for him forsaken and all my idols turned. From my heart and now he keeps me by his power. Though all the world forsake me and Satan tempts me sore, through Jesus I shall safely reach the goal. Hallelujah, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. 
Uh, everybody now the last time, so let me hear you sing, okay? He will never, never leave me, nor yet forsake me here. While I live by faith and do his blessed will. I wall the fire about me, I've nothing out to fear. With his manna, his my hungry soul shall fill. Then sweeping up the glory, I'll see his blessed face. Where rivers of delight shall ever roll. Hallelujah, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. Amen. Thank you very much, Brother Johnny. Thank you for helping me this morning, brother. I appreciate that. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are go. We will go into the message now. I I like to ask uh, Brother Abraham. Amen. My assistant pastor. Amen. Brother Abraham, thank you for coming and clean the church on Saturdays. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brother, can you ask God to bless this message this morning that I'm about to preach? Go ahead. Let us bow for prayer, everyone. Lord God Almighty, who made heaven yes. and earth and, and gave us life. Yes. Bless Pastor Ram this morning to explain the word with your word to us. Yes. <clears throat> we thank you for coming this morning to tell us more about the truth of God. Yes, Lord. Lord, 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 help us. Yes. For all Sokitville people, the Mary people, the Alcabra people. Yes. To come to service every Sunday. Oh, yes, Lord. To hear the message about God. Yes. And about our salvation. Yes. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. You may take your seat. This morning, um, what happened? I have, I have the, the lesson on the church. Amen. To give out, which is lesson C. But at the end of the service, I will give that out. Amen. Now, this morning, I think the, one of the great need of our church is. For people to get baptized those that accept jesus christ i want to show us from the word of god this morning here uh, so if you have one of this slip your hand up if you don't have one don't uh if you have one slip okay uh, you can take your hand on if you don't have one slip your hand up brother you don't have one brother johnny can you give out one there please amen good now it say here at the front page, amen, you can see the churches that the Lord allowed me to start, amen? amen. And uh, there are three churches there. One is not there because that church became independent, amen? And praise the Lord. It says here, you cannot be a Christian without being baptized. <clears throat> Baptism is the first step of obedience to the Lord. Repeatedly in the Bible, when someone was saved, they were what? Baptized immediately. Immediately, they were baptized when they got saved. You can turn to your page now. Amen. It says here, what did Jesus mean about baptizing them when he said baptize them? Amen. Let's turn in our Bible to Matthew chapter 28. Matthew chapter 28 this morning. And thank you for bringing our Bible this morning to church. Amen. Uh, the Bible is a two-edged sword. It's not so. Amen. And a house or a home without a Bible, I don't know what will happen to that home. Amen. But spiritually, your Bible is like a shotgun. All right? For the devil and his demons. I said spiritually... Our Bible is like a shotgun 
for the devil and his demons. Amen. The devil don't like the word of God. I with me. Amen. And every home, my dream and vision is to get the Bible in every home in Guyana. Amen. That is my dream. That is my vision and prayer. Praise the Lord. Now, Matthew chapter 28, verse 16 through 20. The Bible said, Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but somewhat doubt. Amen? Hey, fellow believers, this morning, there will always be some people that will doubt the things of God. Amen? But, you know, thank God for those that believe. Amen? And verse 18 say, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. Amen. Now we see that Jesus Christ here, in the word of God, has given a certain steps, a certain order to be baptized. Amen? Now, I never see in a car that, or a vehicle that somebody, I never see in a car that someone is driving, the steering wheel is not in the back seat. It's not so. The steering wheel is in the front seat. Why? Because... It is of order. It's not so church. I never see up the road while driving that a horse, you know, pushing a cart. If I ever saw that, boy, I ain't driving back that side. <laughs> Amen? Because something is going on strange. But I always see the horse in front pulling. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right? Um, I never see a sand truck. The man got to stare until inside the tray and, you know, he fetching his son in, in, in the cabin. I never saw that. Amen. And, and God designed everything to be in order. The first step here, uh, when they go to preach the gospel, is to teach how to get saved. Teach them about Jesus Christ. Then secondly, baptize them. All right. And verse 20, then teaching them to observe all things. Amen? Amen? Now, some churches have it wrong. They don't want to baptize people like that. They say, well, you know what? We have to, we have to teach them all things, then we'll baptize them. And then we'll teach them again. No, the Bible say to teach them the gospel. Go in there for into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. What is the gospel? The gospel is defined in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen? Now, teach them the gospel, how to get saved, and so on. Then baptize them. Then, then you teach them to absorb all things. Who can get baptized? Anyone that accepts Jesus Christ can get baptized and should get baptized right away. Are you with me? Then you start work. What about a person that is not, you know, <clears throat> married? What about a person that have an alcoholic uh, habit? What a person that might have some kind of addiction or something? Do they have to get rid of all of that then baptize? The Bible never say that. The Bible say that teach them the gospel, then baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Then teach them to observe all things. Amen. Boy, how many people today, how many are being shut out of the kingdom of God because of false teaching? Amen? Amen. This is what the Bible said this morning. So baptism is important. This morning, if you ever get saved, if you get saved, if you accept Jesus, do like Brother Abraham, he get baptized. Amen? Amen? And now he's observing all things. Isn't that so? Amen. Amen. Now, it goes on to say here, Baptism today has been so distorted and misused that it is necessary to break it down and explain it in terms that are biblical. I believe the 
easiest way to overcome a lie is to tell what? The truth. Amen? Amen. To tell the truth. So let's look for a moment at baptism and what Jesus meant when he commanded us to follow believers' baptism. Amen? Amen. Number one, we see the proper candidate. Who is the proper candidate to be baptized? This means who is the proper person to be baptized? Amen? We'll see here. Turn with me to Acts 36. I mean, Acts chapter, 30, um, Acts chapter 8, verse 36 through 38. Uh, Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 8, uh, verses 36 through 38. And the Bible says, And as they went their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest, if thou what? Did he say, If thou goest to church? This Ethiopian eunuch was a servant of the queen, amen, um, of Ethiopia and so on. And he believed the gospel and he wanted to baptize. I show this Ethiopian eunuch in Acts chapter 8, Acts chapter 8 in the New Testament, verse 38. Now, good morning. Good morning. Good to see you all today. So Acts chapter 8 and verse 37 so he said, if thou believest with all thine heart, amen, amen. with all thine heart, amen. thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot, amen, amen, to stand still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. Amen. Who passed out the lesson? Please don't forget to do that as people come in. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> now, so this man, he believed. Amen. Amen. He believed the gospel. And then Philip said, if you believe, you can get baptized. Amen. So who, the question is on page two, the proper candidate to be baptized. A, we must be what? Born again. This means a person must be saved. Amen. Must be born again. B. Paul was saved, then baptized. Let's go to Acts chapter 9, verse 18 and 19. Acts chapter 9, verse 18 and 19. In our Bible there. And the word of God say, And immediately there fell from his eyes, as it had be, been scales, and he received sight for it and arose and was what? Baptized. And when he had received meat, he was strengthened. Then was Saul certain days with the disciples which were at Damascus. So what, what Paul did? Amen. His name was Saul. Amen. Before it changed to Paul. Amen. Amen. And this man, he got saved. Amen. The Lord opened his eyes and so on. He got saved. And immediately he was baptized. And then he tarried. He waited for the disciples and taken some teaching. Amen. And Paul was one of the greatest uh, church planter, missionary and so on. Amen. In the New Testament and so on. Thank God for Paul. He used to persecute Christians. Think about that. Paul used to go about capturing Christians, put them into prison because he hated Christian people. And this man got saved. And he was baptized right away, amen, after he got saved. And he stayed with the brethren in the church and learned the word of God. Now, they didn't say, oh, Paul, I know you believe in Jesus, but you got to prove yourself before we baptize you. That is what a lot of organizations are doing today. That's why I thank God for the Baptist church, amen, amen. where we teach the truth. A lot of churches, a lot of organizations today are teaching, hey, hey, you got to prove yourself. We know you did some things. We know you are, you are living certain life. You got to prove yourself. And if you prove yourself, we'll get you baptized. Nowhere in the Bible said that you have to prove yourself before you get baptized. It said that you have to believe in Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection. And if you believe and you accept him, nextly, to get baptized. So you see the truth this morning. 
Are you with me this morning, church? And we'll see more of that. Amen? See, a snapshot of my heart. 1 Peter 3, 21 say, The like figure were unto even baptism doth also now save us. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh by the answer, but, uh, <clears throat> let me see here. But the answer of a good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So that voice there, people mis, misinterpret it and say, you know what? Oh, some organizations and so on, they did that. They does that. They say, watch, baptism can save you. No, no, no. It doesn't mean that. You see it in bracket in your Bible? It should be in bracket in your Bible. Amen? That means, it explain what it, what it really means. Amen? Baptism can save us, not by the put away of the filth or not by giving us eternity, but it saved us because it gave us a good conscience. And you know what? We say, you know what, boy, I'm, bap I'm baptized. I'm baptized now, and because I'm baptized, you know what? You have the strength to overcome certain things. I'm baptized. I want to go back into the world, but you know what? You remember that you're baptized, and you wouldn't want to go back. Are you with me? Hey, I want to go and do something back with my old friends then, and so on. But you know what? Uh, hey, I baptize, you know, I can't do that. So it helps us think to stay in line with God. That's why baptism is so important. Amen, church? Amen. Amen. So, number two, not only the proper candidate of baptism, but we see the proper way. There's a proper way of getting baptized. Amen. I know a lot of people who baptized before. I know what they say, Pastor, I wasn't really saved, you know, and they rebaptize because they want to get things right with God. Nothing wrong with that. But they, they are a proper way. There is a proper way to be baptized, and there is an improper way to be baptized as well. Amen. And there are a lot of improper way out there, like the Roman Catholic, they sprinkle water on people. Hey, we have all the water in the world. Are you sprinkling people? No, in the Bible say that we should sprinkle anybody. Amen? Uh, so we'll, we will see the scriptural way to be baptized. Good morning. We will see the scriptural way to be baptized. Amen? So it's here, number two, the proper way. In Acts 8, 39, we'll go there. Acts chapter 8 and verse 39. And the word of God said, When they were come out, out of the water, the spirit. Let me see if I find it right. 8, 39. Yeah. And when they have come up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord caught away Peter, uh, Philip, I mean, that he, the eunuch saw him no more, and he went on his way rejoicing. So the Bible said that they came up out of the water. This means that they had to went down in the water. Amen? Yes. We're on page 2. They had to go down in the water in order to come up. So uh, there's a proper, the proper candidate is someone that believes. Not someone that living righteously or perfectly. Amen? Yes. Right, Brother Alves? Yes. But someone that believes. Amen? Yes. As long as you believe and you receive. It's time to get baptized. Amen. So, have you believed? Then what are you waiting for? Amen? Don't let the next crowd fool you and tell you you have to prove yourself to, to God or anything before you get baptized. No, the only way you have to prove to God is that you accept Him. Hey, the Bible says, for He cometh for sinner to repentance. Amen? Amen. The Bible says He didn't come for the righteous, but He come to seek and to save that which was lost in Luke 19.10. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord and shame on the devil. Amen. Amen. So, it goes on to say here, uh, the proper way. A, the meaning of the word baptized means to immerse all or, or all the way under. This means that you go under the water. Amen? Amen. B, Jesus was placed all the way in the grave. They did not sprinkle dirt on his face. So don't let people tell you, hey, they'll sprinkle some water on you and that is baptism. That is not baptism. That is heresy. That is not the teaching of God, people. I listen, church. Amen. 
Baptism is a picture of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Watch here, I have this pen. Jesus laid like this. It's not so in the grave. This pen represents me or you. And it's a perfect picture of the cross when you stand in the water. But you go under in a like figure like Jesus. Amen? You bury into his death and you raise into his resurrection. Can somebody say amen? Amen. 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 So you have to go under. Now, it says here, Romans 6, 4 tells us that we are following what Christ did. Let's go to Romans chapter 6 and verse 4 this morning. Romans chapter 6 and verse 4. After Acts, you will find Romans. Amen? Romans chapter 6 in our Bible. And verse 4. And the Bible say, Therefore we are buried with him by what? All right, I'll wait till you find it. Romans chapter 6 and verse 4. <clears throat> therefore we are buried with him by baptism to death. It didn't say therefore we are sprinkled. Amen? So therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. Even so we also should walk in newness of life. So we are buried. When you baptize you stand up. We put you down. I, I, I baptize in the name of the Father, Son and Holy Ghost. Bury in the likeness of his death. Raise you up to walk in newness of life. And that complete the fourth step of obedience, baptism, after accepting Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. On page 3 this morning, <clears throat> thirdly, not only the proper candidate to be baptized and the proper way to be baptized, but we see the, the proper reason. Why should I get baptized? The proper reason for me to get baptized. Amen? What is the proper reason? Amen? <clears throat> it says here, uh, let's turn to 1 John 1, 7. 1 John chapter 1 and verse 7. After 1 and 2 Peter, then you get 1 John. Amen? 1 John chapter 1 and verse 7. <clears throat> you find it in your Bible? And the Bible say, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all what? Sins. Amen. I never see in the Bible that they say baptism cleanseth us, cleanse us from all sin or cleanse us from sin. But the blood of Jesus, amen. amen. And yet there are heresies out there today, false doctrine, where people are teaching. That baptism wash away your sin. Never. Amen. You can be baptized in clear water, black water, river, muddy water. It doesn't matter. Are you listening? What is matter is that you accept Jesus Christ and follow the first step of obedience to be baptized. Amen. Amen. And I think the river water will clean my skin. Amen. Are you with me? Because I still have to go home and take a shower. Amen. Even though I swim at the creek, I still got to go home and take a shower. Amen? Amen. At times. All right. Praise the Lord. Anyway, so A, salvation is through the shed blood of Jesus plus or minus nothing. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 10. It says, For by grace are ye saved through what? Faith. And that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should what? Both, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. So, may I say, we are saved, amen, we are, we are saved by grace, or for by grace are you saved through faith, amen? amen. So by faith we are, we are saved, we believe by faith that Jesus Christ complete the finished work, for my salvation on the cross of Calvary. When he was on the cross, you and I, we were on his mind. Can somebody say amen? Amen. amen? amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, so B, 
False doctrines come from half-truth. There's a lot of half-truth out there. And a lot of, lot of organization, a lot of denomination, they have half-truth. Are you with me, church? Amen. There's a lot of half-truth. A little truth, but the interpreted, the interpretation can be wrong. Amen? This morning, please, I'm not criticizing anybody. I'm just telling you the truth. Because not everything that looks green is grass. Not everything that glitters like gold is gold. Can somebody say amen? amen. They are counterfeit. And the devil, the Bible says, like an angel of light. If the devil wants to deceive and take a whole set of people to hell, their souls to hell, he will not come with a scary pitchfork and two big horn in his head, he will look glittering and nice and appealing. And this thing will look so beautiful. Half truth. Half truth. Don't believe half truth. Believe the whole truth. Amen? Amen. That's why the devil used men to change up the Bible today. Amen? Amen. They use people to change up the King James Bible. Amen? And, uh, they say, oh, watch, we break down the English. But they change word. And when you change word, you change meaning. Come on, talk to me this morning. Amen? Amen. Yes. We ch change meaning. Amen? <clears throat> All right. Now, false doctrine comes from half truth. Mark 16, 16. Say, he that believe it and is baptized shall be saved. So this is what they say. He that baptized it shall be saved. But they miss, they miss out the other part. They say, but he that believeth not shall be what? Damned. This means that who, who don't believe will be condemned. So what about if somebody baptized and don't believe? Will they get saved? No. Somebody can go inside that water and come out the same way. Because the Bible says, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But baptism is not part of salvation. Because the next part explain, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Amen? Amen. So he that don't believe. So if somebody believe and don't get baptized, they still save. But if somebody don't believe and is baptized, they still lost. I'm not confusing you this morning. Amen? Amen? Let me explain this again. If somebody save. And baptism, they baptize, that is good. But they are saved not because it's baptized, they are saved because of their belief. So the second part of the verse is going to say, But he that believeth not shall be damned. This means whoever, who that believeth not will be condemned, meaning will be going to hell. Amen? Amen? So this is the part that they use to confuse people. Amen? Because somebody can go in that water and do all the ritual and get baptized, but they still don't believe. The thief on the cross is a perfect example. He did all the wrong in this world that he did. There were two of them, one on the right hand side, one on the left hand side of Jesus. And the one on the left hand side railed at Jesus with rage and said, if you be the son of God, come down from there and save yourself and save us. If you be the son of God. Jesus did not respond. The next one on the right hand side said, hey, left Jesus alone. He didn't do anything to be on here. We did all the wrong. That's why we are here. And then he said, Lord, remember me when you come in, in, in paradise. Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. Amen. Amen? Amen. Perfect salvation believe in Jesus and accept him they didn't say hey this man believe in me go and get him baptized in the Jordan River because he believe and he'll go to heaven no but we baptize because we love him we baptize because we want to be identified with Jesus death burial and resurrection therefore there should not be any hesitation when you accept Jesus Christ or someone accept him to get baptized. You should get baptized. And let the other things follow. Amen. Yeah. 
God never said that you have to live a perfect life and prove yourself before you get baptized. No way in the Bible. No way in the Bible said that baptism saves us. But over and over repeatedly said, he that do not believe will be lost. Amen? And he that believe it will be saved. Amen, church? Now, D, O, the little word in red. The word of God said over and over, they that believe not shall be lost. It never said they that baptize shall be damned. Amen? Baptize not shall be damned or lost. The identifying your heart. 1 Peter 3 21. The like figure where unto even baptism that also now save us. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward who? God. By the resurrection of our of Jesus Christ. So baptism, amen. Save us by putting on a good conscience. If you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are saved. But that good conscience is not is still not there. Baptism help us to put on that good conscience. Amen. That whenever we want to go back and do something that displeases God, you remember, hey, I'm baptized, you know. Then your wife might tell you, you know, Brother Alf, but Alves, you baptize, you can't do that. You know? Brother Milton, you baptize, boy, you can't do that, you know? Hey, Sister Diane, but, but Sister Diane, you just go to church, you baptize, you can't do that, you know? Why? It put on a good conscience. Amen? Amen. Are you with me this morning? Amen. You know, Brother Johnny, somebody might say, Brother John, you can't, you can't, you can't be here, man, you baptize, you know? It help us to put on a good conscience. Amen? When I got saved 1998, the 11th of February, quarter past eight that Wednesday night, I said, I want to baptize now. We, they took me. I put on the robe and everything. We went to the baptistry pool and it was empty, no water. Hey, that was a Wednesday night, the Sunday morning. I said, if y'all can't baptize me, I'm leaving this church. I was serious. I want to make it right with God. Amen. I said, if I can't be baptized, I don't want to be in this church. Because you promised me after I get saved, I need to be baptized. And why the pool is empty? Hey, Sunday morning, I was the first one to get baptized. There were some others as well. Amen. Amen. Don't wait. Don't put it off for long. Get baptized. Amen. Follow God. We cannot be a true follower of Jesus Christ or a true Christian if we are not baptized. Because baptized is a, baptism is the first step of obedience. It's a symbol of his death, burial, and resurrection this morning. Amen. 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 Listen, I can, I can put away this ring. I can put it in my pocket this morning. I can put away this beautiful ring. Amen. It has three stones inside. Amen. I can put it away this morning. Does that mean I am not married? No, I'm still married. But you know what? Why I wear the ring? It's a symbol of my marriage that I'm not ashamed of the next person. Amen? But this don't make me marry. What makes me marry is my commitment to my wife. Amen? When I promise. That, that is make me marry. Amen? Now, it's the same way if you don't baptize and you accept Jesus, you are saved. But if you baptize, you are showing the world that you are not ashamed of Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm a sinner. He saved me by grace. Amen? I'm a sinner. He saved me. Hey, the woman at the well, she had five husbands before and she got right with God. Amen? Amen. Peter get right with God. Come on, talk to me this morning. Many people get right with God. They baptize. They were not ashamed of Jesus. Yes, they were not ashamed of what people will say unto them. And yet today, there are some organizations that say, you got to prove yourself before you get baptized in this church. There's no way in the Bible. That is totally heresy, false doctrine. There's no way in the Bible said so. Amen. I hope you can see that this morning. 
Number five, the proper authority to get baptized. Matthew 28, 19. We were given the authority to baptize who? Believers. The New Testament church is made up of born again baptized believers. And that's where we are fed the word of God. Amen. Now, on the back of that <coughs> lesson here, um, it says here <coughs> some some verse, and I want us I want to read them to us this morning. Amen. Amen. Just some verse on baptism. You see a highlight, the word baptized there. Amen. Over and over. Acts two thirty. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That verse means to repent. It means to turn away. Turn a different direction. Amen? Amen. I was a Hindu 24 years ago. And I repent. I turn from that religion. And I turn toward Jesus. And I accept him. Are you with me? Amen. It means to take a different direction and accept Christ. Amen? Amen. Now, Acts 2 41 said, Then they that gladly received his word were what? Baptized. And the same day they were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Listen, they had enough time to counsel 3,000 people. So they have all kind of different classes to carry people through before they're baptized. We didn't see that in the New Testament church. They accept Jesus Christ. They believe in him, accept him, and they get baptized the same day. And they become member of that church through baptism the same day. And guess what? They were added to that church. Amen? Amen. And guess what? It didn't stop there. They continue now to learn. Are you with me, church? There is no way... If you look up here this morning, there's no way I can go into the interior or the jungle somewhere and find a pulpit. Or there's no way I can go and find a bench. This is a perfect work that someone can sit on it now. It can become used. It's not so. Amen? To the builder. And that is what they are trying to tell us in the world out there today that you got to do all these different things then get baptized. Amen? Amen? That is like going to say, hey, you got to get a bench out of that wood before you cut down that wood. No, you got to cut that wood. You got to take it to the sawmill or your chainsaw. And you got to, first you got to cut it down. Amen? The wood has to be lean and fall to your side there for you to be. We have to fall to Jesus Christ. Amen? We got to accept him. And then, then you take that wood and you start little by little. Little, you, you, years ago I grew up in the countryside, they used to make posts out of axe. They used bullet wood. And they'll cut down that big tree with an axe, and they'll take that axe and chip out it little by little and farm it into a, a beam or post. Anybody ever saw that before? Amen, countryside. I remember that growing up, Barbies, amen. Yeah, and they'll take an axe because the sawmill too expensive, amen. They try to save some money. And it take time before that, that piece of wood become to perfection. That is what God does with us. God embraced us. He took us to ourselves. Save us. Amen? Amen. Then he start working on us. Little by little by little. Chipping out the unwanted things from our life. Amen? Amen. Yes. Can we see that this morning? Amen? Amen. So the Bible say they were added to the joy. Then Acts 8.12 but when they believed, Philip preached the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus, they were baptized, both men and women. Amen? Amen. When they, were they baptized? After they believed. Amen? Amen? After they believed. Acts 8, 36. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain, certain uh, water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? This man got saved and he wanted to be baptized. Amen? Amen. And he went back in Ethiopia, the history say, and did a great work for God. Eight toward, uh, Acts 8 toward 8. And he commanded Charles to stop still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip 
and the eunuch, and he baptized him. You see, they, they baptized into the water. Acts 9, 18. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scales, and he received sight for it, and arose and was baptized. That was Paul. Amen? Acts 10, 47. Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? Amen. This means they receive salvation. They receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then they want to get baptized. Acts 10, 47. Can any man forbid? Oh, we, we already read that. Acts 10, 48. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed they him to tarry certain days. Amen. They, they make the word pray them in the beg him, ask him to stay with him after they get baptized. Amen. This man want to do the work of God after he get baptized right away. Amen. After he get baptized. All right. Uh, Acts 16 to our tree. And he took them the same hour. When? The same hour of the night and washed their stripes and was baptized the same hour and he and he all and sorry he and all his his straightway the many whole family acts 18 8 and Crypsus, the chief ruler of the synagogue believed on the lord with all his house and many of the corinthians here and believe and were baptized acts 19 3 and he said unto them what what then were ye baptized and they said unto john's baptism then <clears throat> then said paul john verily baptized with the baptism of repentance saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him that is on jesus christ acts 19 5 when they heard this they were baptized in the name of the lord jesus amen romans 6 3 know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Galatians 3 27. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. This morning, church, we see baptism. Amen. We see that after you get saved, it's time to get 